My name is Cheryl Turner and I'm the school director at Sugar Creek Charter School. Sugar Creek has been in existence for 15 years. We are currently a K-9 charter and we're in the process of adding a grade a year to become a K-12. We have just under 1,200 students. We have a very interesting student body in that 100% of our students are members of ethnic minorities. 93% of them qualify for free or reduced lunch. So we have a lot of challenges because our students experience the kinds of things that are associated with poverty, but we've been very successful and our children have done very well. Within Mecklenburg County, we are the second highest performing school that serves large numbers of um, minority students, but even with that, our numbers are pretty much equal to the district average for all students. Our motto here is whatever it takes. And so we modify what supports we provide based on the needs of our students, but they go everywhere from groups, from whole class to one-on-one. -on -one. We have some students who need individual instruction and we provide a certified teacher to provide that instruction. One of the things that we had been able to do was provide an after-school program four days a week from four to six. However, that costs us about $400,000 a year. And we're just not, we had a grant for a while, but we've lost the grant. And now we're not able to provide that support. We are no longer able to provide that service because we just can't afford it. With the cost of buses and the cost of lunches, we just can't afford it. Transportation and food are extremely large part of our budget. After, once we get past salaries, it's the next most expensive part of our budget. We currently own 18 buses. We run 16 every day to cover the county. We provide breakfast and lunch for all of our students, literally all of our students, because since so many of our, 93% of our kids qualify for free and reduced lunch, we're allowed to serve all children at no cost. So we serve just under 1,200 kids breakfast and just under 1,200 kids lunch every day. And it's extremely expensive. And that money has to come out of the general fund. There's no other way to do that. And then you add to that the cost of capital expenses, which don't come, which we don't get any support for and has to come out of our general budget. We have a, a, a converted Kmart. We've renovated the entire thing and we're running, you know, taking care of all the expenses that are associated with that. And now with our high school, we need another facility. Do you know how much money your public charter school is being denied each year? No, I really have no idea. <laughs> do you know what I could do with $351,852? The kinds of things I could afford to do if I had $351,000. I could. I could do after school. I could have interventionists in the middle school, which I can't afford right now because I don't have the money to do it. That's amazing, the amount of money that is, that what we could afford if we could do that. How can that be? How can it be that there's $351,000 that goes with my children that I don't have access to, which means my children don't have access to it? How can that be? This is the story of Sugar Creek Charter School. My name is Cheryl Turner and I support fair funding for all public schools in North Carolina. <laughs>